her dad in October in October it was October it was like a few days before October 18th which is our date we've been together it's going to be 10 months um in a few days but yeah so we came across each other, you know, we never thought that we'd get to this point, but we did. And I'm not gonna sit here and say it was easy, because it wasn't. Nothing with pregnancy is easy. You guys will witness a lot of sicknesses and everything. Everything you can think of, you go through it while being pregnant. Um, so we met in October, the month of October. You know, we met through a text message off Snapchat. Snapchat was the reason why me and my boyfriend met. So it all started by him complimenting me. You know, sliding up as the usual, sliding up on my Snapchat story. And that's pretty much how it went. It went from there. And then it took me, I think, three months to respond to him just because I don't, it tells you I don't respond to people in general, but I definitely don't respond to, like, boys, if that makes sense. Like, I just, I don't respond to nobody. And so it took me, like, three months to respond to him. I'm really, really glad that I had the chance and, like, something told me, like, whoa, respond to him. When I opened his Snapchat story, you guys, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness, like, whoa, who is this? Like, Jesus, like, dang. <laughs> but, but yeah. So we went from there and we just started texting and I don't know where we just got on FaceTime. Like, we got on FaceTime and then we didn't even like see each other before we started dating. We started dating because I I don't know, like I felt an amazing attachment through FaceTime. Like that was enough for me. So I was super excited when he asked me out on October 18th of 2020. He asked me out and I was like, oh my goodness, like, yeah, like what the heck? Yeah, obviously. We finally got to see each other and everything. I found a way out to, out to like you know wherever he stays at and we got to see each other we hugged each other like if we knew already knew each other like we just clicked we had that bond as if we've been together for so long we've only been together for a couple days so enough is said basically you'll meet your person when it's your time so then after that we just kind of like we started hanging out every day and stuff like that we managed to hang out more often um and then so from there we just kind of started hanging out every day and stuff we got comfortable i got comfortable with the situation i got comfortable with the relationship overall and stuff and then we were just so attached like super close we bond and stuff like no other and then finally like two months yeah two months in the relationship it happened you'd think like oh my goodness you'd wait longer or 
whatever the case is. But like I said, everything happens when it happens. It all happens at its own time. It, time never like tells. Time won't wait for you or anything. So you kind of just do things on your own. I mean, people could say like, oh, you could have waited or something. Unfortunately, I didn't. Um, not that I regret it, especially now. For first timers, I feel as if you would and you'd think it's the end of the world due to the fact that your, your pregnancy test is positive. Let me tell you guys, I wish I could have recorded my reaction, but I was so shocked. I was so shocked at it that I didn't record it. Like I wasn't thinking about grabbing a camera and recording my reaction when I found out I was pregnant. So what I did was I, w I looked at the pregnancy test and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm pregnant. I didn't, like I believed it, but I didn't at the same time. But due to me not getting my period for like, uh, I want to say a couple weeks then that's when i really started realizing you know like mm, well i am pregnant like there's just no way i'm not so then i took another one and i called his mom and i was like oh my goodness like what do i do like i don't know what to do like oh my goodness this is, like i was just super scared you know like i didn't know what to do i was super happy but i was super scared because let me tell you guys something, a child is a blessing. It's a blessing and you're going to learn throughout your entire pregnancy that there is nobody else more attached to you than the baby. Than the person growing, the little human growing inside of you. Like, I cannot stress this enough, but I feel so close to my baby. I literally, I feel so close to baby A. And it's just something that I'm really glad that I got to experience because now I never feel alone. There was times before where I did feel a little lonely. And now it's like there's no way you feel alone. You know, being in a relationship is already one thing. You don't feel alone in a relationship. You shouldn't feel alone in a relationship. But then just being able to have my baby's company, feeling her kicks and everything. I'm going to... I'm gonna put all like everything, my pregnancy test, my when the baby kicks, things like that, so you guys can see um, what it looks like. I know you guys wouldn't be able to feel it, but you guys can see what it looks like. I called his mom first and I was like oh my goodness I'm pregnant she starts like literally crying with me and I'm like oh my goodness what do I do and then she's just like you're pregnant you're pregnant and then she was just saying like my boyfriend's name and she's like oh my goodness my baby is finally gonna have a baby and just all this cute stuff um so then she was like well the first thing I do is call your mom due to the fact that like she's a mother herself and she would like to know you know before anybody else like you don't want to find out by somebody else that your daughter's pregnant like you just don't so I was like you know what that's right like I should do that so I managed to grab my phone I was very very scared don't not get me wrong I was very very scared I was not opened about it I was super scared I was never comfortable with the situation until I finally got really deep into my pregnancy and I kind of saw that I, I'm i pregnant already, like I'm keeping my baby, I should just like come out about it. So then I finally called my mom, my mom was like, oh my goodness, like she was upset but there's not much you can say when things are already done, you know, you can't you can't take it back as you would want to because it's already done and over with like it's already done i was already two months pregnant and didn't even know like it's it's crazy to say when i found out i was pregnant i was already two months pregnant it's not like i was already like you know barely like a couple days pregnant or a week or two or whatever i was already two months pregnant when i found out um but i managed to tell my mom his mom and my older sister erica so i did that 
and then I obviously didn't get the reaction you know that I wanted and obviously I didn't even give myself the reaction that I would like I wanted because this wasn't like something that was planned it was more like unexpected for me like if I was prepared I would have knew how to react but I didn't due to the fact that I wasn't like I wasn't prepared and I told my boyfriend like you know like he'll be like man like you weren't prepared I wasn't prepared but like I said as months come by and as you grow with your baby and you like go through your pregnancy you will learn to be prepared you will you will like literally you discover a whole new chapter in your life a whole new chapter just opens up you have to manage to learn how to you know deal with it and deal with the fact that you're pregnant you can't just sit there and act like you don't know what to do you better find ways you need to find ways for yourself and stuff so yeah that's pretty much how it all happened then it took me a really long time to tell my dad just because I feel like dads are a little more strict and you know you just never know what to expect from a father so I kind of like I did I kind of dragged it and told my dad once I was like seven months pregnant which is kind of messed up like I said but it is harder to come out to a father when you're a female and you know than it is to come out to your mom like me I feel like my mom is my best friend and I feel like I could reach out to her for anything like I do till today so that's pretty much what happened um I called my boyfriend a little situation happened I had to call my boyfriend you know I couldn't be with him in person or anything like I would have loved to and I would have loved to make the moment really special but unfortunately that that couldn't happen so due to that he called um my phone and you know he asked me well are you pregnant i said mm, and i was just kind of like how do i tell him like i want to make this spe like a special moment but there's no way i can there was like no way i could make it special so i told him i said yes we're like we're having a baby yes we're pregnant like we're, yeah we're pregnant we're having a baby so then what's it called it gets to the point where you know we're talking on the phone and stuff and we're just like oh my goodness like we're really expecting a baby and all this other stuff and it got to the point where like it was so like unbelievable like it was it was very shocking i couldn't even like accept it not in a bad way but more like in a good way where i was like oh my goodness like i'm really pregnant like oh my god you know like i was pregnant i just couldn't believe it it took me a couple months to like actually get comfortable and everything and unfortunately you guys things did kind of slack towards the end like right now i just turned eight months i'm already 30 weeks i turned um 30 weeks on saturday so which was yesterday literally yesterday i turned 30 weeks makes which makes eight months so i'm in my third trimester um I'm literally at the end of my pregnancy, literally, and unfortunately, it's sad to say that sometimes you witness things that, you know, are, like, sad and stuff in your pregnancy. I've done been in the hospital already once, um, and I was on a monitor to, you know, for the baby to make sure the baby's okay and stuff due to the fact that I have a negative blood type, and then my baby has positive blood type. And it attacks it, you know, it attacks the baby and stuff. So it'll like attack the baby like a germ, like if it was a germ. And it tries to fight it out. Just like if you got a disease or whatever, it try, your body tries to fight out, you know, all that stuff and tries to get it out of your body. So unfortunately, that's what the case is with me right now. Um, there was days where I would just cry myself to sleep due to the fact that I was just super, like, I was super emotional, like, and I still am. That's the problem. That's the only problem that there has been throughout my whole pregnancy is that I've been so sensitive and emotional. Like, anything will hurt me. Anything, like, a shut up or something would hurt me. Like, it just, you experience it when you're pregnant, you know? So people that are pregnant, you females that are pregnant, you guys will understand me. But I have a, yeah, it's just pretty much something that up, 
is like hard to accept, I guess you could say, but it's something that you can't control or change. Um, I have gotten two injections already due to that. Uh, and yeah, so you just like, you just bleed and you know, uncontrollably. Like, I can't control what happens with me. Um, and clearly neither can the doctor. I mean, I've already gotten two injections and I still, like right now I'm not, but there was spotting and stuff. And it's just due to the fact that my body is fighting the baby. Um, I've gotten the shots and stuff for it too. So I've gone, I've gone through like quite a little, a lot I guess you could say during my pregnancy. But I'm really glad I guess that I had the opportunity and the chance to. Because I get things done that I'm not going to get done until the day of my labor the day that I deliver so like I already know I'm kind of already ahead of the plan I guess we could say and I've gotten like I've witnessed things that you witness the day of your delivery but I've already witnessed it due to the fact that I have a negative blood type um but yeah that's kind of the update I am due October 14th I honestly do feel as if my baby is going to come way sooner than that maybe like at the beginning of October or the end um, of the month before that so I don't know we're just gonna have to wait and see I'm thinking about doing a delivery video but I'm not sure just because I already have to go through so much pain and I'm just sitting here like um I don't think I could record something like that just because I'm not really focused on anything but living that moment literally because it's so much pain and stuff like I've already gone through so much and it's so little compared to what I have to go through the day of my labor so I am pregnant I'm having a baby girl um I'm gonna have my baby shower soon so that's pretty nice See how that goes I look a mess I was not gonna get ready or anything I'm at the beach I was not gonna get ready for this video or anything but I'm pregnant you guys will be expecting baby A I already know her name I'm just not gonna say it yet I want that to be another special video um, but we're expecting baby A October 14th or before that you're just you change in general everything changes your body everything changes and you just kind of have to learn how to accept that but it does get very very hard towards the end especially towards the end I went through nights where I couldn't sleep due to the fact that I wanted to throw up and I couldn't now finally that I'm in my third trimester I'm more like calm like I don't I don't really react like I used to like my I'm not that sensitive or anything like I was before but it does it does make a life change this is a life changing a new chapter for me you just kind of have to learn how to manage to get through it I will make a part two just due to the fact that you know this is gonna be all over the place and very unexpected you guys but it is something that I wanted to let you guys know and come to you guys about because I am pregnant I'm eight months pregnant I'm almost done I'm very scared but I got myself into something I gotta get myself out so yeah I'm Christina for the few guys that didn't know and I'm done with this video there will be a part two maybe if baby A doesn't decide to come on me way really really early 